My name's Lori Cook. I'm with the American Wood Council. So today uh, we're going to be talking about resisting wind loads using the prescriptive provisions of the 2018 WFCM. And the, the full name of that document is Wood Frame Construction Manual for One and Two Family Dwellings. And indeed our, our example today will be for a residential structure. But uh, the WFCM has has been around for a while now. Um, it doesn't get quite as much use uh, as, as some of our other standards, but it's a really handy standard. And I think in today's example, you'll see some of the utility displayed in that document. Um, so some of the, the things we're going to focus on today are talking about some of the changes that uh, are prevalent in the 2018 WFCM. This won't cover all of the changes, and if you do look on our website, awc.org, there, there are other programs that we've got on our website that detail the changes uh, a bit more uh, thoroughly than, than today's presentation will. We'll talk about some of the new uh, wind roof wind provisions in ASCE 716 that led to some of the changes uh, in the wood frame construction manual. Uh, as well as some of those updates that um, in the WFCM on the shear wall aspect ratio limits. We also added for the first time ever deformed shank fasteners in our 2018 wood frame construction manual and that's roof sheathing ring shank nails some of you might be familiar with. So you'll see some provisions for those and we'll talk about those as well. Now the outline of the, the program today uh, will talk about the code acceptance of some of the standards, of all the standards that we're discussing. Uh, and again, that's primarily the wood frame construction manual, but we also will be in the special design provisions for wind and seismic, or uh, SPIDWIS, you might hear me refer to it as. So we'll talk about that a little bit too. Once we get through that code acceptance and the background on some of the design loads, those co the components and cladding or CNC wind loads that changed in ASCE 716, uh, we'll get through that and then go into the design example itself. We'll discuss some of the design example parameters and describe the structure that our design example works through. And then we'll jump into the prescriptive provisions that are presented in the wood frame construction manual workbook. And if you go onto the AWC website, this is uh, this bottom part of the page shows uh, an excerpt of what our website looks like. If you go to our codes and standards publications and then click on the, there's a picture of the WFCM that you can click on our website. And it looks just like this. This is the 2018 cover and the website looks like this. So on our website, you can download a free view-only copy of the standard. Uh, so, so that would allow you to view the standard, the tables, the provisions. You just wouldn't be able to print it. You can buy a copy of the standard, either in hard copy or in a printable PDF. That's also available on our website. So you can go there to find out some more information. The other document you see on the bottom here is the WFCM workbook, and that's what we're going to be spending a lot of time in today. And the workbook presents a solved, um, solved solution for a two-story residential structure that gives us examples of how we would work a design using the wood frame construction manual. Now our reference codes and standards as um, those of you who are familiar with the WFCM might know it's been updated for each version of the the last three of the IRC and IBC. So the 2018 WFCM does have a reference in the 2018 IRC, which as you would expect, they're both uh, based on residential structures and intended for the design of residential structures. However, the one thing that a lot of folks aren't familiar with is that the wood frame construction manual can also be used on IBC designs. And if you go into section 2309, which you see here, you can see that uh, 
Uh, if you go into Section 2309, you can see that for a structure that meets the provisions, uh, the prescriptive provisions that are laid out in the wood frame construction manual, if it's in a risk category 1 or 2, you can use the wood frame construction manual to design those types of structures. So if it's something like a single story slab on grade structure, like a, a restaurant or an office building that is within the, the length and width uh, requirements of the building in plan and, and the load requirements, then you would be able to use the wood frame construction manual for a, a non-residential design.